sit on the throne. Which Peter is King David in the reincarnation, if you could receive it. As well as the rest of the twelve and the hundred and forty four thousand, that number that's set to govern over the planet Earth and beyond in the world to come. See, verse twenty nine, and it's the point, and every one that have forsaken houses or brethren <laughs> or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So those who are destined to inherit everlasting life obviously will have to forsake the things of this world. But the list we just read mainly includes family. Let's read this again. And every one that have forsaken houses or brethren, see, or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So one of the main things we are encouraged to forsake is family. Matter of fact, let's click on this word forsake. Strong's G, 863. Afiyami. Afiyami. Yeah, and that's the pronunciation in the Greek for this word forsake. And it says to leave, go away from one in order to go to another place. Yeah, in order for you to dwell within the courts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you must be willing to walk away from everything. And again, this includes family, if need be. <laughs> and I have to emphasize that point because again, if your family is willing to dwell with you, if they're supportive, if you will, in your decision 